Does your mega bank run afoul of regulators? Is it about to pay billions of dollars in fines and restitutions? Now look on the bright side. Some of it is tax deductible. Hello and welcome to The Deal Report. I'm Jeff Kanige. First, before you grab that pitchfork and join the townsfolk in a torchlight procession to your local M M ATM, let's get one thing straight. Under the tax law, fines and penalties paid directly to the federal government are not deductible. That'd make no sense. But as the deals were on all reports, payments to non-governmental organization or aggrieved groups like shareholders and homeowners can be deducted. Take, for example, a possible settlement between the government and J.P. Morgan over the bank's mortgage practices. If that agreement requires the bank to pay damages to folks who lost their houses to foreclosure, those payments could very well end up helping J.P. Morgan reduce its federal tax bill. And beyond the hypothetical, Ron points out that the recent $1.8 billion settlement between the SEC and Steve Cohen's SEC Capital specifically prohibits that wayward hedge fund from claiming a deduction for any part of the payment. Now, as you might imagine, the notion that a company could actually benefit from being punished doesn't sit well with Congress. Two senators, Democrat Jack Reed of Rhode Island and Republican Chuck Grassley of Iowa, say they will introduce a bill to close the loophole. Okay, problem solved. Once again, Congress sees an absurdity in the law and moves decisively to make everything right. That, my friends, is what freedom looks like. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm being told that the Reed-Grassley bill actually stands little chance of passing. In fact, Ron notes that the measure will probably get lumped in with a package of other tax reform proposals and sink under the weight of partisan bickering. That, my friends, is what freedom really looks like. There's probably more absurd things to look at in the tax code anyway, like the deduction banks can take for the fees they have to pay to cover the taxpayer-funded costs of unwinding failed institutions. That's your basic business expense. But pitchforks and torches? Not deductible, because, you know, freedom. In New York, this is Jeff Kanage for The Deal.